<laughs> Y'all gonna force me to talk about it, huh? Huh? Y'all gonna dare me to say it? Huh? Well, damn it, I'm gonna say it. If Leo Santa Cruz could unofficially drop Javon to Tan Davis, well, damn it, now all oh, y'all ain't know it. The Japanese Samurai, the Japanese Warrior, the four division world champion, two division undisputed, 2023 fight of the year, pound for pound, one, two, you can flip it around. Now all oh, y'all ain't know it. Would drop and hurt Javante Tank Davis if the fight happens at 130 pound division. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I bring up Leo Santa Cruz. I know that we don't want to talk about no triangle theories, but damn it, that's the way that the boxing people want to break down fights. Well, damn it, let me do it. Damn it is my opinion. Let me do it. Leo Santa Cruz didn't have a lot of power, right? When he moved up. Feel me? So if I see that now you ain't know who we're going to be stopping if he stops uh, Lewis and Eddie and then moves up. And he gives me two performances in a 126-pound division. And he knocks somebody out. He shows me that his power has increased. But damn it. He got a pretty good chance. He got a pretty good chance at beating Javante San Davis in a 130-pound division. Yes, I said it. Ain't no hype. Ain't no hype. Now you ain't no way it's proven. Now you ain't no way it's special. Now you ain't no way it's legendary. Ladies and gentlemen, they're already, they're already comparing now you ain't no way to the, to, to the eighth division world champion. Five-time lineal, 12-time world champion, the ambassador, the senator, the humanitarian, the greatest karaoke singer of them all, the GOAT, Manny Pacquiao. He reminds me of Manny Pacquiao. And in Manny Pacquiao, his power could transition up in the division. Damn it, I believe that ain't no way, and now y'all ain't no way could do it. Because Javante Tan Davis, I think he got special skills, but up against who? You feel me? You know, we, we still we still try we, we, we're still saying that Javante Tan Davis need to prove to us and challenge himself. You know what I'm saying? Challenge himself. And I'm talking about a good challenge. I ain't talking about put people on stipulations, rehydration and catch weights. No, 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 no. 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Fair. So I know a lot of people are gonna be like, yo, punch. You're probably contradicting yourself because I remember you had an interview with Shakur Stevenson and you were talking about now you ain't know who is Shakur Stevenson and you told Shakur Stevenson that he's going to be the the, the, the the massive favorite. Well, yeah, in the 135-pound division, in the 135-pound division. I wasn't talking about the 130 division. And again, and again, if I'm going to give anybody the benefit of the doubt, why wouldn't I give? No, you ain't know what the benefit of the doubt. Damn it, he earns. He earned it. He have earned for us and you and I, all of us, to give him the benefit of the doubt. If we see a massive performance like he's been performing as of late, the way that he captured these world titles, if his power transitions, unlike how Leo Santa Cruz power did a transition, because to be honest, Leo Santa Cruz was outboxing Javante Tank Davis. And the only thing that separated him was the power. It got to the point where Javante Tan Davis said, man, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a couple of hits just to land this massive uppercut that to, to this day is one of the best uppercuts of this generation. One of the best highlight reels, right? But if you look right before that, that 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 punch that landed, man, he was trying to take he was taking punches. The combination now, yeah, if now yeah, you know with the footwork, the IQ, the power, the momentum, the confidence. Hey yo, look how look how he took he took Stephen Fulton's heart, bro. And Stephen Fulton got heart. Stephen Fulton could fight. Now, I'm not gonna say he got the type of power like Javante Tan Davis, but let me tell you like this: Stephen Fulton is pretty, pretty goddamn good. Made him like a novice in that ring. I also seen Gamboa. Gamboa back then he was, you know, I'm not gonna say that he was doing pretty good, but I'm just saying that it wasn't as easy. So, the best winner of Javante Tan Davis' career probably is probably Mario Barrios, right? Mario Barrios that, that it aged well because he beat your Dennis Ugas, but then we found out that he put Mario Barrios in the rehydration clothes. He put Ryan Garcia in the rehydration clothes, so scratch that. He didn't look pretty damn good versus Pitbull Cruz. Shout out to Pitbull Cruz for the nice victory versus Roley. You feel me? 
that was a short um, 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 short notice. But I remember the post fight interview. He said that Pitbull Cruz. They asked him if we want to fight uh, Pitbull Cruz. We want to give Pitbull Cruz a rematch. He said, "Hell no." So the confidence of Javante Tan Davis when the when the when the goings get tough, he don't want to run it back. Let Ella B said that hypothetically, if a fight with now, oh yeah, you know what happens? It will happen in the 130 pound division. I'm confident that now, oh yeah, you know who in the 130 pound division could compete. With Javante Tan Davis Not only compete with Javante Tan Davis I think that he could hurt Javante Tan Davis I think he could drop Javante Tan Davis And I think he could beat Javante Tan Davis Now am I saying he's the favorite to win? No am I, if, 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 if the fight was tomorrow I, if, I'd be like yo who's gonna win? I, I probably maybe maybe side with Javante Tan Davis Just a bit And that's why I say If I see that Naoya Inoue power Has increased Unlike Leo Santa Cruz. I got a lot of confidence in Naoya Inoue winning the fight. I Means probably would be a 50 50 fight. Which I think. Y'all don't like my y'all don't like my opinion. Well damn it is my opinion. You got yours, I got mine. Y'all forced me to talk about it. I didn't want to talk about this. And no no no, I don't want people to come at me like yo, yo, punch. But but you was critiquing Buck Crawford when he wanted to fight. When he wanted to fight um, Canelo Alvarez and move three division up. Yeah, that's three division up. And ladies and gentlemen, Canelo Alvarez is... <laughs> Jamal Satan Davis ain't no Canelo Alvarez, too. It's not only him moving up three division up. It was about him moving three division up and facing the four division world champion. Super middleweight undisputed. King Nello, a.k.a. Cartelo, a.k.a. Cash Nello, a.k.a. Payday, a.k.a. Get the F out of here, man. You see how many AKs I can mention these guys when I already know who Canelo Alvarez with Javon Tan Davis. All I can say is AKA Junior Varsity Bell. AKA Junior Varsity Bell. Another one. Come on, man. Come on. Now you ain't know who is special. I believe that the, that Javon Tan Davis got special skills. But now you ain't know who has proven. Matter of fact, maybe, maybe Javon Tan Davis is he's still in the in the passing the eye test stage. I mean, even Devin Haney and T.O. got better resumes and have, you know what I'm saying, risked it more than Javante Tan Davis. As a matter of fact, maybe Javante Tan Davis at the age of 30 is still in the stage of passing the eye test. Let me know what y'all think, man. Another there going to be people out there going to be like, come on, punk. No, come on, nothing. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Love you. God bless. And on to the next.